You guys are constantly asking me for my two cents regarding motherboards, and today we're taking a look at the Gigabyte 990FX8 UD3. So stick around, because this motherboard's guaranteed to tickle you where it matters. Now this particular motherboard, the UD3 is for the AMD AM3 Plus socket, but if you've got Intel, don't worry, because the UD line is available in Intel sockets as well. The 990FX does boast a lot of the features that you would expect from a high-end motherboard. It does have Crossfire and SLI support, so you can run your favorite graphics cards regardless of the platform, AMD or Nvidia. It's also boasting some new technology here with two times the copper PCB and a new glass fabric PCB. It's designed to be a little bit more moisture resistant and a lot stronger. The UD3 does have some high humidity protection, which is perfect for those of you that live in wet climates. It does feature a dual UEFI BIOS, which is perfect in case you have a BIOS failure, you're not going to brick your motherboard, and perhaps most important of all, it does feature all Japanese solid capacitors, so you're not going to deal with any of that dreaded coil whine. Inside the box here, you are going to find your 990FXA UD3 user manual, a multilingual installation guidebook. You'll find four solid black SATA 3 connectors, which should be more than enough to connect all of your peripherals. You got your rear I.O. plate, and you do have an SLI bridge that comes with the motherboard. This is interesting to me considering it's dual compatible with Crossfire, but it does not include a Crossfire bridge. So you'll definitely want to keep this in mind if you're going with AMD graphics cards. Now if you're anything like me, you probably are turned off by the blue PCB on other Gigabyte motherboards. But don't worry because they've listened to your cries and now they've given you this sexy black and gunmetal colored motherboard. This thing is just beautiful to look at, especially if you have a window in your case. You're going to want to show this bad boy off. Socket wise, this thing is an AM3 Plus FX compatible socket, but it is also backwards compatible with your Phenom AM3 and your old AM2 and AM2 Plus sockets. The south bridge on this motherboard is a passively cooled SB950 chipset providing you with six native SATA 3 ports with super fast gigabits per second link in RAID 0, 1, 5, and 10 support. I really love the fact that the SATA ports are labeled right on the motherboard right next to the SATA port, so there's no question about which device is plugged in where. Slot-wise, this motherboard does come with two PCI Express 1X, four PCI Express 16X, although only two of them are actually wired to the north bridge. You do get a standard PCI slot. This is one of the only high-end AMD motherboards that still offer a PCI slot. The UD in the name refers to the ultra-durable heat sinks that are installed on all of the key components on the motherboard that generate a lot of heat. The VRMs, the North Bridge, the South Bridge, they're all very durable, very quality copper heat sinks which keep your motherboard running nice and cool for a nice long life. The I.O. side of your motherboard contains all of the connections you would expect to find on a high-end motherboard. You've got more USB ports than you could ever possibly use. You've got two powered SATA connectors on the back. You've got USB 3.0, LAN, fiber optic. You've got your 7.1 analog surround and a PS2 port. Taking a close look at the PCB, you can see that new glass fabric material that it's boasting on the box. It's very smooth, it's got a nice dull finish to it, it's not shiny, and it's very, very detailed. And it's awesome designs like this that really make this motherboard stand out in the crowd. One of the most common problems that new builders have when putting together their first computer is not knowing where to plug in all the different connections. Well, this motherboard clearly labels it out there right there for you with all the USB ports, and Gigabyte even takes it one step further by color coding all of the front panel connectors for you, so there's no question about where all those little wires go. And last but not least, you're given four connectors for your fans. You got your CPU fan, a power fan on the right, you've got a system fan down on the bottom right, and you've got a system fan too on the bottom left, and they're very easily accessible. So there you have it guys, that's been the Jay's Two Cents review of the Gigabyte GA990FXA UD3 motherboard for your AMD AM3 Plus FX processor. And don't forget this motherboard is available in Intel versions, so if you're in the market for a brand new high-end motherboard, check out the UD series from Gigabyte. Remember guys, if you liked what you saw today, there's plenty more on my channel. If you're not subscribed, why the hell not? It's just a little button, just click it. Just click the damn button. You'll get to see all kinds of product reviews, you get to see some rants, every now and then I'll destroy something. Kind of like you see on the video right here, I tend to take my anger out on things, sometimes with a hammer, sometimes with my truck. But the bottom line is, you need to be subscribed to Jay's Two Cents because you never know what I'm going to bring you in the future.